Hey, what's going on everyone? Magic here. And today I have another Call of Duty Zombies Wonder Weapon comparison video for you guys. And this one is going to be the Blundergat versus the Scavenger. And you guys have been asking a lot for the series to come back. I haven't done one of these in a while. And because Mob of the, De Mob of the Dead just came out, I did want to make one with the Blundergat in it. So I decided to pair it up with the Scavenger. Because it actually is kind of relatable to it. Because when you upgrade it to the Acid Gat or the Vitriolic Withering, it actually becomes an explosive weapon. Which reminded me of the Scavenger a lot. Even though they're two completely different kind of weapons. So, I haven't. S I'm going to say this right now. Um, just so there's like kind of confusion throughout the video. Um, there's not going to be an overall total winner in this video, mainly because all the different kind of variables that go into the deciding of this, because the Blundergat has four different ways to use the weapon instead of just the regular two, unpack a punch and pack a punch. This one has four different weapons involved into it. So that kind of makes um, judging of each category a little bit harder. But in the end, I kind of will just say which one won, but I will not be able to tell who won each category. Um, but the first category is going to be ammo. So the regular Blundergat has one in a clip and 60 extra. Then when you pack a punch it, it becomes the sweeper, which has two in a clip and 120 extra. Or if you make it the acid gat with the acid kit, it has three in a clip and 90 extra, and it and it becomes an explosive weapon with that, and it shoots acid, um, some tack grenades, and they explode. Then when you have the acid gat, you can then pack a punch it to the vitriolic withering, which is basically the same thing as the acid gat, except when you shoot it, it attracts zombies towards the um, uh, grenades or whatever you guys, acid balls that you, that you shoot. And um, this one has three in a clip and 150 extra. Now moving on to the scavenger. The scavenger has, I think, three in a magazine and 15 extra. And then when you pack a punch it to the Hyena Infrared Dead, it has 6 in a magazine and 30 extra. So when it, so the winner of this category is going to go to the Blunder Gat. Um, the next category is the one hit one kill, which one lasts the longest. Now this category is actually really hard to tell which one actually won. Because when you um, pack a punch to the Scavenger, the, hy the Hyena Infrared uh, infrared Dead um, stops being one hit one kill at round 35. However, if you pack a punch the Blundergat to the Vitriolic Withering, you start making crawlers at like round 25, um, and that's 10 levels um, down. But if you make it the Sweeper, it actually keeps killing zombies with a one hit until about like round 40. That's like the highest I've seen it actually kill with one hit, one kill. It might even go farther than that. But the bad thing about the Sweeper, though, is it can only kill one at a time because it is only a one-shot weapon and it's not an explosive. So this category is really hard to tell who actually won. Um, so this one's not going to have a winner. But overall, I think the Hyena Infrared would be a uh, Infrared would be a better weapon than this uh, than um, for one hit one kill because it kills them so fast. The next category is kill speed, and this one's going to go to the Scavenger because um, it does take a while for the initial bullet to explode. But right when it does explode, it just disintegrates every single zombie um, near it until round 35, which it will make start making crawlers and stuff like that. Um, and it still will kill zombies. But it just won't kill all of your horde. But and the uh, vitriolic withering kill speed is. I think the bullets go off a little bit faster. But however, they do not kill as quickly because it actually shoots in like three bursts. And it's just like it kill as many. The next category is most powerful, and this one's going to the scavenger because, like I said, it just disintegrates every single zombie um, near it until round 35, and even past that, it still does kill them. You just have to shoot like tw two to kill your entire um, horde. And the uh, vitriolic withering, um, it's still a pretty good weapon, but you're obviously not going to kill like your entire horde with three of them at like round 35. Um, so this category is going to go to the scavenger. And the next category is least splash damage. This one's going to the Blundergat because the Scavenger has a lot of splash damage and you'll down yourself a lot if you don't have Juggernaut or PhD Flopper. But the um, upside to having the Scavenger is because in Call of the Dead you can actually get PhD Flopper and then it has no effect on you at all. You won't get injured at all because of PhD Flopper, which kind of makes this category kind of um, different. But if you just take PhD Flopper out of the out of the, the equation, I guess it would go to the Blunder Gat. So this one's going to go to the Blunder Gat. The next category is most fun to use, and this one's very debatable, debatable uh, depending on your um, take on all the weapons. Um, I just said Scavenger because it's a sniper rifle, and I really like sniping. I just like the whole concept of a really powerful sniper rifle in zombies. 
And um, the blunder gets cool and all. I just really don't like it because it makes tons of crawlers at a low round, and you keep getting stuck on them. And it just seems like it's a lot more hectic, hectic of a weapon than the scavenger. The scavenger just clean. It kills them instantly. You don't have to deal with all the leftover stuff that's left and the zombies that it didn't really kill. The next category and the final category is most kills with one shot. And this one's obviously going to the scavenger again because it just disintegrates every single zombie in its path. And um, unlike the blunder get, it um, stays more powerful um, unless you're using the sweeper but then again they can only kill one with one shot and the scavenger will kill like 24 if you're playing solo you can kill them all with one shot um, so overall in my opinion it's going to be the scavenger that wins but this is more of an opinion video because some of these categories are different because you can upgrade the blunder gat in, di in um, four different ways rather than the two that the scavenger and any other um, wonder weapon could be upgraded in the call of duty zombies franchise um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you do disagree with me that the scavenger is better, leave it in the comment section and say why. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, guys, peace out. Who's this pretty blind chick taking bomb rips? Park Gav catching the cab the next morning. We party hard last night. I'm fucking exhausted. Headed back to my hood. I'm feeling nauseous. She said someone broke her heart and now she's cautious. She thinks the fact that I'm a broke rapper is awesome. Tennis lessons. I wonder what those look costed.